Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Up next at five. Right here on WJZ and for those of you streaming. A delivery driver stabbed while on the job in Baltimore County. I'm Mike Helgren in Pikesville with what we've learned about this violent crime. After a hiatus because of COVID-19, Baltimore's MLK Day Parade is back. I'm Avid Joy Burnett with more on the sight, sounds, and celebrations. The Ravens are one and done in the playoffs, now head into the offseason with disappointment and uncertainty. I'm Mark Viviano with the team in Owings Mills. Player reaction coming up. Live from Television Hill, this is WJZ News at 5. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Nikki Zizaza. Welcome to those of you watching on CBS News Baltimore and on WJZ TV. A delivery driver is recovering tonight after being stabbed in Baltimore County. And the violent incident happened just before 10 o'clock Saturday night, and police have yet to make any arrests. WJZ investigator Mike Halgren live on the scene for us tonight in the 100 block of Sudbrook Lane in Pikesville. And Mike, you have new reaction tonight. We do, Rick and Nikki, and neighbors are understandably very shaken by what happened. Just to orient you about where this crime happened, we're just a few blocks off of Reisterstown Road, not far from Maryland State Police Headquarters. Thankfully, authorities say the victim will survive his injuries. Baltimore County Police tell WJZ the driver was delivering food here on Sudbrook Lane in Pikesville when several suspects approached him, demanding money. Even though he gave them his cash, one of the suspects stabbed the driver in the upper body. That's the first thing that I thought was strange is he completely complied and still got hurt. Are people shocked? Are they frightened? Yeah, I mean, everybody, it was all like, really, this, this happened right down the street and why? Sarah Ramsey says her heart goes out to the victim. Delivery drivers just trying to make a few bucks, and a lot of times they're teenagers, and you know, they don't deserve that. The driver was rushed to a hospital. Police say the injuries are not life threatening. Police did not respond to a request for further details or whether there have been other attacks on delivery drivers in the area. We belong to a community page on Facebook, and so since it was posted, we, I recognized the road and was like, wow, that's a little, that's close. Maggie Leathers uses food delivery services and says the violence has her on alert. If you're ordering food, you know, make sure your porch light is on and make sure maybe you're meeting the driver. So it does. It kind of makes you rethink situations. And it's a little surprising because he gave what the person wanted. And so the fact that he also got stabbed is kind of a little scary. So what was the motive? Now, neighbors here are fairly well informed, and, and it's a close knit community. Police have not provided a description of the suspects, but if you know anything about this crime, you're asked to call them. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.